most esteemed opponents and my special audience, a pleasant day to you all. The topic for my rhetorical speech is what the world gains from optimism. Optimism is essential to achievement and is also the foundation of courage and true progress. Nicholas M. Bono. Defined by me, optimism is hoping, believing, and persevering to achieve your goals through trials and adverse circumstances. An optimist sees the glass as half full rather than half empty. He believes that good can be had from any situation. Being optimistic can have a profound impact on your views of life as well as your physical and mental health. It also strengthens your resolve that failure is not an option. When life fills you lemons, you make a name. That is to say, use what you have and make it work for you. This is further supported by an extract from Elena Lenz's article titled Optimism and its Impact on Mental and Physical Well-Being, which concludes that optimistic people enjoy a higher quality of life when compared to pessimists. Also, optimism promotes a healthier lifestyle, greater flexibility, and better problem-solving capacities. Helen Keller, who was stricken by a brain fever that left her blind and deaf, said, No pessimist ever discovered the secret of the stars, or sailed to an uncharted land, or opened a new doorway to the human spirit. She was optimistic about herself, Many people expected her to grow up being pessimistic because her illness deprived her from enjoying life fully. This made her the first blind person to graduate from a college. Optimists will always face problems but seek opportunities to create solutions. Thomas A. Edison, who invented the light bulb, said, I've not failed. I've found 10,000 ways that won't work. Michael Jackson is often referred to as the greatest basketball Jordan, as the greatest basketball player of all times. It was his optimism that allowed him to be the greatest basketball player in the world. He said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been entrusted with the responsibility I've scored game-winning shots and missed. I've failed over and over and over in my life. And that is why I succeeded. This is the mark of a true optimist. Optimists keep going. I love KFC. How many here feel the same? I almost cannot imagine a world without KFC. But it's almost in not coming to be. Colonel Sanders, Fund of Kentucky Fried Chicken's KFC, after undergoing a series of major challenges, felt like a failure. He even thought of committing suicide and eventually began writing his way. But instead, he wrote what he had accomplished and became energized. He bought $87, which he used to prepare the famous fried chicken and went door to door to sell. At age 88, Colonel Saunders' business was established and has continued to grow tremendously, even today. This finger-licking operation is known all over the world. This is the epitome of optimism. Lance Little grew up in Gratzken and Morgan Lane, an inner city community plagued by violence and poverty. He was optimistic that one day he would run one of the biggest airports in the world. And he did. Today, he is the chief executive officer of one of the busiest airports in the world, the Seattle Tacoma International Airport in the USA. He is one of Jamaica's optimists, and the country boasts of his great achievements. We live in a global community with so many inventions and discoveries. People have been cured of diseases. They are living longer and are enjoying higher standards of living. All all this materialized because of the smart and hard work of optimists who thought that they could, believed that they would, and acted on their dreams. Optimists are 
are not stopped by adverse circumstances. Rather, they focus on overcoming the challenges or obstacles. The fifth line of the Optimist Creed reinforces the bond, common goals and attitudes, shared by Thomas A. Edison, Helen Keller, Michael Jordan, Colonel Saunders, and Lance Whitten. It reads, to think only of the best, to work only for the best, and to expect only the best. Optimism gives the world the strength to persevere. Okay, you see? <laughs> <laughs>